When his Luminance Avad and his Asuram Freebooters returned to the City of the Sun, many would rally behind him as the true Sun King to overthrow the tyrannical regime of his father. Jaron had made many enemies, and his heinous acts had sown seeds of doubt among his people of his true legitimacy. It's said that many Karja soldiers laid down their arms or even defected at the side of Avad upon hearing of his arrival back to the Sundom. One such individual who would answer the call was a warrior of Karja legend. The life of Mazarad, the Sunflash, whose scales of polished armor dazzled his foes, whose ribbons of firebird red arced like his enemy's lifeblood, so drawn to the clamor of battle that he chose an outlander's life far beyond the Sundom. In the north, he crushed the helmets of clashing Osram warbands with the very scrap they battled over. In the south, he stood in the sunset against the plains raiders, plucking their arrows from his body and firing them back. It was only the lure of the greatest battle of all for Holy Meridian that drew him back to his homeland, and in the liberation, he died gloriously. So it took many hours to reveal his still shining armor beneath the heap of kestrels piled above him. How exactly Maserat heard of Avad's advance is a mystery, but this record of his final battle found within captains and capers is truly impressive. For perspective, the Kestrels were the Mad King's most elite warriors. Trained in the grueling dust storms of Sand Whisper Valley and battle-hardened against Drawn's enemies during the brutality of the Red Raids. From these accounts, it would seem that the Sunflash prowess for combat was not exaggerated, felling many of Drawn's finest before finally meeting his end an effort that would help Siavad overthrow Jaron and become the 14th king of the Karja Sundom. Though it's bittersweet that a warrior of Maserat's status perished before Aloy's journey to the Sundom, it would appear there was no more end befitting the mythic warrior known as the Sunflash. And that brings this chronicle to a close. If you'd like to see more content like this, likes and shares are always appreciated. And if you really like what we're doing at the channel, come join our community and hit that subscribe button. Who's your favorite warrior legend in the world of Horizon? Let us know in the comments down below, and until next time, thanks for watching, and keep questing.